Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology forecast. This is for Tuesday, December 11th, 2018. All right, so today, uh, again, not a whole lot going on astrologically. It's going to be a very quiet week this week, um, astrologically speaking. Um, but today we do have the moon shifting into Capricorn. So the theme of the day, uh, likely shifting to that of maybe taking care of some responsibilities, maybe some themes around what requires discipline and also patience. So really good to access this side of ourself. So along with this, um, we are in the early phase of the lunar cycle. So still great to be building some momentum and implementing some new things or new insights that you may have had since late last week's new moon. All right, so let's take a look at this as well as some minor lunar aspects and do a quick weekly recap here when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Tuesday. Again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. So if you are new to the channel, definitely check out the link down below because the signs are different from mainstream astrology. All right, so uh, today we have the moon in Capricorn, uh, grounded energy. Capricorn, the sea goat, has to do with taking things one step at a time for that long-term perspective. So with the moon here, the moon does represent how we're feeling collectively. And so generally, this could be a bit of uh, maybe reserve today emotionally, maybe feeling a bit detached. So again, it's quite grounded and responsible. And so for that reason, really good for productive things or again, things that do require that sort of patient long term perspective. So we'll uh, be feeling this way, but also likely noticing a theme today around maybe matters that do take this patient, disciplined and responsible um, perspective and qualities of ourself. All right, so this is in the context of still the early phase of the lunar cycle, this crescent phase. We just had the new moon late last week. So um, still good to be gaining some momentum slowly and surely as we go through this lunar month. If there's been any new insights since late last week, great, great week for implementing them. Um, as we get into the later part of the week, we'll enter into the first quarter phase, and that'll be really good to challenge ourselves, um, taking action and initiative specifically but right now just build, building a bit of momentum and trying a bunch of new things um, during this very early phase all right so uh, the sun is well set in a fucus we'll do this kind of backdrop here with the planets what this whole lunar cycle is about was about scorpio and a fucus so now with the sun specifically in a fucus um, it's still an excellent time for healing in fact this whole lunar month will be great for this so focusing on our own wounds our own insecurities, our vulnerabilities for ourselves personally, right? To become more aware of these things. And it's through that awareness that we then can go through that healing process. So the awareness the sun really helps us with because the sun shines that light. And then the next step is accepting these, you know, quote unquote things that we've pushed under the rug or hidden away from ourselves that is now being brought to the surface or a part of life that is being brought to the surface because that's the same thing there and accepting these qualities of life of ourself and through this process it can be very healing and rejuvenating you know fucus is said to be the redeemer right so we're redeeming all of these qualities that have been pushed away that we've exiled right from our beingness and so as we become aware of and accept these aspects of life which are an aspect of ourself we become that much more holistic, that much more rejuvenated, healed, redeemed, um, which is what a fucus helps us do. So great month for this. Nothing major today with it specifically per se, but um, still great to be focused on it nonetheless. All right. So with the uh, sun there, we do have Mercury uh, now direct. So things slowly moving forward, maybe with some ideas or things we've been thinking about about the past month. And in Libra, really good time to be still thinking in terms of how we can bring balance into our life and also how we can bring balance and reciprocity in relationships, right? So likely good to be thinking about things in terms of what's mutual, what's reciprocating, what's just, what's right, you know, these types of matters likely in our mind and really good to sort of think and also communicate in this kind of equilibrium, wanting equality sort of state. 
All right, so that's Mercury. With Venus, we do have Venus still in Virgo. She's been here for many months, and this is not her most comfortable placement, right? So Venus does represent relationships and also our values. So there's been a lot of reconsideration of this stuff during Venus's retrograde. Now that she's direct, though, finishing up with seeing what are our values that do require also like Capricorn, but in this case, self-discipline, right? Where it requires an improvement perspective, taking the sort of refined perspective on things. It could be work, it could be our diets, our routines, our habits, right? Seeing the value of these things. And in our relationships, how we can be connecting in terms of how we share mutually beneficial ways of seeing how things can be improved, right? And so again, diet, routine, things like this, could be a really good way of connecting in those relationships as well. All right, so that's Venus in that very uh, detail-oriented sign and Mars. We do have finishing up Aquarius. So this has been good for getting things done in a unique and different way about this past month. And so still good to be doing this, seeing how we can innovate, think outside the box, take action, express ourselves, assert ourselves in ways that are a greater reflection of our true self. Now, this may have been a bit uncertain lately. We've had Mars and Neptune conjunct since this new moon late last week. And so there is this kind of mixed energy between the really receptive Neptunian uncertain energies mixed with the assertive. So it's been good to combine these elements. How can we you know, pursue our needs and our wants in life and take action in life while at the same time being receptive right, and present and accepting of what is? So it's still really good to do that since these planets are very close to each other. All right, so that's a, a bit of a recap there with the uh, fast-moving planets in terms of the aspects today. Nothing major. A couple minor lunar aspects. The moon will be squaring up to Venus and sextiling up to Jupiter. So in this case, maybe today a little extra tension on relating, possibly collectively, with relationships. Um, good day to challenge yourself with things that we want to uh, connect to or enjoy or what we value. Good to set intentions with that today. Um, and very minor, even more to that, the moon is going to be sextiling up to Jupiter. So we could just be feeling a bit buoyant, maybe open-minded a bit. But again, I think the dominant energy will be that Capricorn, will be that how can we take that slow and steady approach, disciplined approach to matters specifically regarding any new things that may have shaped up since the later part of last week. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to click that like button and I will see you all tomorrow for the daily forecast. Take care.